Welcome back. The last section is inverse relationships. Uh, we've done this in the previous section. This is just to, rev to remind you. A relationship which occurs between two variables where when one variable increases, the other one decreases. And there's a constant ratio between the two consecutive variables. The graph of the inverse relationship is a curve. I think we've learned about this mainly because there is a constant ratio. The formula to calculate the cost will be the total cost divided by the dependent variable. Now let us take the first example. Ms. Zulu is charging 1,200 rand for mathematical literacy lessons per day. Tabo and his friends decided to take the offer and invite more friends to share the cost. It's important for you to take note that they are sharing. The shared cost is represented in the table below. Study the table and answer the following questions. So looking at the table, you can see that if uh, we have Tabo only, it's 1,200. If it's Tabo and one friend, they are two, it's 600 rand. If he has two, uh, two friends, it's 400 rand. So the more the number of friends increases, the more the cost becomes less. That is what is happening when you share a fixed cost. Okay, determine the values of P and Q. Now, to determine the values of P and Q, for P, I hope you can see that is the cost for four people. So now, we, for us to determine the cost for four people, we will take 1,200 rent and we divide it by four and we get 300 rent. And now we continue. For the value of Q, we are having 1,200 rent and then we are, which is the total cost, we divide it by this 200 rent to get how many people uh, will contribute 200 each. So we take 1,200, we divide by 200 rent, and the answer is six. Therefore, we say six people will share the cost to contribute, six, uh, to contribute 200 rent each. Now let us practice what you have just learned. Moloko hired a venue for a Christmas party. The total cost for hiring the venue is 600 rand. He decided to invite his friends to minimize the cost as they will share the cost for hiring the venue. Study the table below and answer the questions. Okay, now to answer the questions, the first one is to calculate the values of R and the value of V. So now the values of R and V what is R? R is the cost for three people. So because it's the cost for three people, we are going to say 600 rand divided by three. Let's press the calculator together. 600 divided by three. Therefore, we get 200 rands. Therefore, each one of them will pay 200 rands. Now let us have a look at the value of V. This was R. Now, the value of V. What is V? V is the number of people that will share a cost in such, way, in such a way that they each pay 60 rent. So we know the total cost is 600 rent, and we divide this by 60 rent. So when we take 600 rent and we divide it by 60 rent, then we are going to have 10. So 10 people will then share the cost in such a way that they each contribute 60 rent. The next question, determine the formula to calculate the cost shared for hiring the venue. So for us to calculate the cost for hiring the venue, we will therefore say the cost equal because we know the total cost. The total cost is 600 rent, and then we divide this by the independent variable, of which we can just say divide by number of people. We don't become specific. So that when the number of people increases, then 
we know we can substitute with any value. So this is the formula that was required. The next question, plot the graph to represent the relationship between the number of people and the cost to be shared. Okay, for one person, we are having 600 rent. So this is the point where 600 and one will meet. And for two people, we are having two and we are having 300 rent. And now for three people, we've already calculated it. We can just check in the previous slide. We said the value of R is 200 rent. So if the value of R is 200 rent, we can write this value of R here. We can write 200 rent. And we say for three people, we are having 200 rent. So this is the point where three will meet with 200 rent. And for four people, we are having 150. So this is four and 150. For five people, we are having 120. So this is 100, 110, 120. You just uh, count these small lines there. They count uh, up to 10. You count them one by one until you reach 10. And then for, uh, we have 60 rent, and we said 60 rent, is, it was for 10 people. We can as well stop at six. So now, I can join these points. Remember, until you join the points, it is not a graph. So now, this is a graph. You can see that it is a curve representing the inverse proportion. Now let us get to the application. The first question, the cost of hiring the tent is 800 rand per day for the maximum of eight hours. Study the table below and answer the following questions. You can see that the cost remains the same until eight hours. Identify the type of relationship represented by the table. We said the type of relationship because the cost is not changing. It's a constant one. We call it a constant or a fixed relationship. Determine the cost of hiring the tent for seven hours. Take note that as long as it did not exceed eight hours, then the cost is going to be the same. Then our cost is still 800 rent. Let us move to the next question. Use the table to plot the graph representing the relationship between the number of hours and the cost of hiring a tent. For one hour, we said it's 800 rent. Two hours, still 800 rent. Three, eight, it's going to be eight until the eighth hour. So lucky enough, this graph does not exceed eight. So then our graph will be the joining of these points. And as you draw the graph, please make sure that you use a ruler so that you get a straight line as well. So that was the constant relationship. Let us move to the next question. Gift is selling popcorns at the school's tax shop. The cost of preparing the popcorn is represented in the table below. So you look at the table already, you can see a pattern. Gift is paying a rental fee to sell popcorns. Determine the cost, this is popcorns, determine the cost of the rental fee. So now for us to determine the cost of rental fee, we first need to determine the difference between the two consecutive values. So for two packets, we said it's 160. For one packet, it's 130. So we can press the calculator together and subtract 160, subtract 130. We get 30 rent. So now, because we have 30 rent, implication is that the cost for popcorns is 30 rents. So if the cost for popcorns is 30 rents, we need to take this 30, subtract it from this 130 so that we can get the cost for the rental fee. Therefore, you say, we say this total, it is the cost for popcorns plus the cost for the electricity. That is why we take 130 and we subtract 30 rents. And I think now you know 130 minus 30 rents will be 100 rent. So the cost of the rental fee is therefore 100 rent. The next question, 
The soccer team players were charged 2,400 rand for transport to a tournament. The table below represents the relationship between the number of players and the cost of transport. Study the table and answer the questions that follows. The first question, give the type of relationship which exists between the number of players and the cost. So now basically with this one, remember for us to establish the relationship, you should know what is happening as the number of players it's increasing. So as the number of players is increasing, then what is happening to the cost? You can see that for one player is 2,400. For two, it's 1,002. For three, it becomes 800. So we are saying because as the number of players increases, therefore the number of costs becomes less and less. Therefore the type of relationship is inverse proportion. So this is the type of of relationship. We say they are inversely proportional to each other. And that was the constant relationship. The next question, the amount to be paid for drinks at a local school is represented in the table below. Study the table and answer the following questions. Okay, looking at the table, I hope already you can see the pattern, even if we don't know what the value of A is. Determine the value of H, I'm sorry, the value of H, not A. Determine the value of H, the cost of one drink. So to determine the cost of one drink, we can get the difference between the two consecutive values. So the two consecutive values that we have is uh, for three drinks and for two drinks. So we can say, therefore, 48 rent subtract 32 rent. Let us subtract. When we subtract, we are going to have 48 minus 32, which gives us 16 rents. Therefore, this 16 rent, it means it is a constant difference. So when you need an extra drink, you add extra 16 rent. So it means the value of A is 16 rent. The cost of one drink is therefore 16 rent. Let's move to the next question. Show that the value of i is 8. So for you to show that the value of i is 8, you will need the previous cost that we've calculated, the 16 rent. So for us to show that the value of i is 8, we simply take the cost uh, which is given under i, which is 128 rent. We divide it by the cost for one drink, which is 16 rand, and as we divide, we are going to have 128 divided by 16, which gives us 8, and we have shown that the value is 8. Determine the formula to calculate the cost of drinks. So for us to calculate the cost of drinks, we are therefore going to say the cost of drinks equal to, we are going to take a uh, the 16 rent, which is the cost for one drink, we multiply it by the number of drinks. You don't become specific. You write it as a general uh, weight, or the, you use general weights. You represent it with the independent variable. So it's 16 rent multiplied by number of drinks. So that if number of drinks is one, you can substitute with one. If it is two, you can substitute with two, etc. So let us go to the next question. A soccer team's player were, cha were charged 2,400 rent for transport to a tournament. The table below represents the relationship between the number of players and the cost of transport. Study the table and answer the questions that follow. Give the type of relationship which exists between the number of players and the cost. For you to uh, get the relationship, you must check what is happening. As the number of players is increasing, what is happening to the cost? Is the cost increasing or is the cost decreasing? Looking at the table, we can see that as the number of um, players increases, and then the cost is decreasing. Therefore, the type of relationship is therefore 
inverse or inversely proportional. So this is the type of relationship that exists. So I want us to take a short break. I will see you right after the break. <laughs>